Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope my content is good enough to make you smash that subscribe button. Today we are going to make colorful sprinkles and this time we are using water instead of egg and powdered sugar. Add 4 tablespoons of water to 250 grams of sieved powdered sugar. Mix it nicely to get rid of the lumps. At this point it looks really good put them in three separate bowls one tablespoon each for coloring And you don't really need a fourth bowl to for the white color color them however you want if you want green yellow orange any color you decide to use will be left for you to decide I chose today red green and blue and not forgetting my big bowl had white You can also choose um, to use either powdered or gel colors. Both of them work perfectly. I used these drugstore uh, colors, uh, the supermarket colors. You can find them in any supermarket. Guys, another thing I wanted to tell you is you can make your own paper piping bag if you do not have. Um, and by the way, in the next video, I will show you how to do exactly that step by step from just the parchment paper you have at home. You can already have a piping bag if you have a problem um, buying a piping bag. It's also an easy way of just having a piping bag at home. Although it won't work for everything unless you try. Maybe we'll try that also in the next video to see if it will work for every other thing. And if it works, then it means it's good deal. And here are my homemade paper piping bags. They really help me a lot. 
when you want to write on top of a cake or when you want to decorate a cookie with it. This is how you close them up. They are quite nice. This is how it looks like. And if your hole is too small, you can always um, cut depending on how thick you want your sprinkles to be. So this is how thick I wanted mine to be. That's why it's looking like that. And uh, make sure you pipe them out on a parchment paper. In my experience, it comes out nicely. And be creative with your piping, uh, like there's no rule in this. Just don't <laughs> pipe everywhere, but just be creative with it, depending on how you want your sprinkles to look like. This was just to show you how um, I was piping, but I used later on a parchment paper which helped them to come off nicely very quick and after just leave them roughly for two hours to dry and then use your scrapper to scrap them off as you will see as we continue with the video So this is the famous scrapper. <laughs> it makes it easy. And those are the four beautiful colors that I made, which I was really happy with. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing, sharing, and hitting that like button and make sure if you have something that you'd like to see me make in my video leave a comment in the comment section and i will check it out and try to do it thank you for watching this video and until next video which will be about how to make a pipe paper piping bag thank you guys love you bye Yeah, I see you guys.